we're gonna go this way. Uh, I mean, we're gonna go this way. Oh boy. Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society. Today we're gonna learn how to make this quick and easy bow. I use this bow in my Charlotte the Spider pattern and also in my mini monster. I'll include links to these free patterns down below. To get started, you wanna grab some yarn, a crochet hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. For this tutorial, I used a thicker yarn and a bigger hook, but if you're making a bow for amigurumi, you might just wanna grab some worsted weight yarn and an E-sized hook. For this bow, we wanna leave a really long tail, about 12 inches or so, and then start out with a slip knot. I'll show you how I make a slip knot by wrapping the yarn around two fingers. You wanna crisscross at the top, and then I like to hold my tail with my ring finger. I'm gonna push the back piece of yarn to the front, and then I'm gonna pull that back piece straight up. You can use your long tail to adjust this loop by pulling on the tail. I'm gonna insert my hook into the loop, and we're gonna start out by making three chains. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through, that's chain one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through for three chains. So we have chain one, two, and three. For this pattern, we are gonna go into the third chain from the hook. So right here is the third chain. We have chain one, chain two, and chain three. For round one, we're going to make four double crochet into the third chain from the hook. If you don't know how to double crochet, you'll wanna yarn over, insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over again and pull through. Now you'll have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull through two of the loops, yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops on the hook. And that is our double crochet one. We're gonna yarn over again. We're gonna go through the same stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up. You'll have three loops on the hook yarn over and go through two loops on the hook and then yarn over and go through the last two loops on your hook. That's double crochet number two. For the third, we're gonna do the same exact thing by yarning over and going through two loops, yarning over, going through two loops again. We're gonna make our last double crochet into the same stitch. So continue making your double crochet And that is our fourth double crochet. So counting four here. Moving on, we are going to make three chains. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So now we have three chains. We are gonna slip stitch into that same chain that we worked our double crochets into. So basically it's this big hole that we have. So to make a slip stitch, we're gonna insert our hook yarn over, pull up, and then pull right through your last stitch. Now we're gonna chain three again. So chain one, chain two, and chain three. Now we're gonna make four double crochet into that same stitch. So it's everything now is just gonna go into this big loop that we have. So we're gonna make double crochet one, double crochet two, double crochet three. I don't know how those get in there, but they always do. <laughs> double crochet four. And then we're gonna chain three once again. Chain three. 
chain one, two, and three. And then we're gonna make a slip stitch into that same stitch, which now looks crazy big. We're just gonna insert our hook yarn over and then pull through this that stitch. Here we're gonna fasten off, but we wanna leave a really long tail once again. So I'm gonna measure out a long piece of yarn and then give it a little snip. To fasten off, we're just gonna yarn over and pull the yarn all the way through, and then I just like to give it a little tug. So now this looks like a really weird bow, but we're just gonna pull that inside really tight, and now we have somewhat of a bow. Making sure to really close the middle with that slip knot, just pulling that tight. From here, we're gonna to wanna to wrap the piece of yarn that's connected to our slip knot, so the one that we're tightening around the middle of the bow. So here I'm doing one last tighten. I'm gonna hold that other piece of yarn and I'm gonna start wrapping this yarn about three or four times pretty tight. From here I wanna take my other side of the bow and I don't wanna go around the same side, I wanna go opposite. So I don't want to go this way, I want to go against the other piece of yarn because I want to tie it in a knot. So we're going to wrap three or four times and now that we're crisscrossed, we can tie a knot in the back. So here just tie a knot. I like to double it. And then flip the bow over and just straighten the sides. That's it guys, you just made a bow in minutes. You can add this to an amigurumi, a barrette, a card, a shirt, anything really. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel as I have more crochet tutorials and crochet alongs in the near future. Also go to yarnsociety.com for free crochet patterns.